Listen, you're going back inside to study. But I don't want to. Give me a break. It seems like all I do is study. I don't want to hear any excuses. Return to your room this instant. How many times do I have to tell you? Huh? You are the successor. You do understand what that means, don't you? Now tell me, Ayato. What is it that you must do? I must become number one. You're utterly worthless to me unless you're number one, so you'd better work harder. What happens to worthless boys? They spend eternity cold and drenched at the bottom of the lake, all alone, where no one can hear them scream. Oh, Richter. How I wish I could always keep you by my side, whispering your sweet nothings in my ear. deliberately, didn't you? I think it's cute. It makes us sound so naughty. Carl Hines doesn't deserve your respect, and you owe him nothing. Am I right? You're a very wicked woman, compelling me to speak ill of my brother like that. <laughs> You're so fun to tease, Richter. Bury the hatchet. There's no need to dwell on the past. As you can plainly see, I've been resurrected now, just as you wished, my dear. My new body feels a bit odd. I have to get used to it. She shouldn't even be conscious anymore, but I could swear I feel her trying to kick me out. It's really rather tiresome. I guess I shouldn't be surprised since this body isn't fully mine yet. My body is broken and useless to me now. Please, while my heart is still beating, cut it out of my chest. And then I will need you to implant it into another body. Cordelia, must I presume that this is the only way that I can keep you alive? Don't despair, for when the time is right, you and I will meet again. But you do know I'm an excellent swimmer, right? A long time, Reiji. Too bad you're such a stick in the mud. Otherwise, you'd look just like Carl back when I first met him. I despise boredom. Boredom can be excruciatingly painful for immortals such as ourselves, so it's one of the most difficult things to endure. Just like her, you suppress your emotions and hide your true feelings behind a stony exterior. But she ultimately met a meaningless, rather pathetic end, didn't she? <sighs> oh my. Don't tell me I touched a nerve. Beatrix never seemed to love you nearly as much as she loved Shu, her eldest. So I assumed you wouldn't mind if I slandered her just a little bit. But you may be right. It's true that Carl and Richter were once on friendly terms. And I may be the reason their relationship deteriorated. <laughs> I came back so I could take revenge on Carl. I'm looking forward to it. I plan to make him pay by taking his life. I think I know how to silence that mouth of yours. And you know what the worst thing is? You're keeping me from becoming the vibrant woman that I deserve to be. 
Richter, dispose of them immediately. Do it right now. <laughs> <laughs>